plus 11. And that we forget how it is affecting our well-being. Contradicting intellect and ideals, having a conversation on modern development and nature preservation. Isn't Kalimpong beautiful, Arshan? How dynamic and exciting this town is from any other way. Without its tall buildings, growing infrastructure, this modernization is progress. Indeed, progress has its benefits. It was once encircled with green woodlands. But now, it's all filled with mere concrete jungles. Transportation is easier now. A man needs work to live. What do we need? Work! Well, on the flip side, all the new constructions and developing you're talking about have led to increased traffic congestion, decreased forest cover, and air pollution. Are you willing to pay such a colossal price? What about the future generations that are yet to thrive? Kalimpong never expected to be a part of such rapid modernization. It's all about different viewpoints, you know. I had never considered that perspective, Oshil. I believe I was valuing modernization over its impact on nature. Yes, it is also very essential and important for us to consider the long-term effects, you know. It's all about finding the right balance between these. Calipons, pleasant wind, summer crickets, and people walking have disappeared altogether. Will we ever get them back? Will the kites fly in the open air again? But is it too late to strike a balance between modernization and preservation of nature? It is never too late, Swam. We can constantly attempt to make an impact. Perhaps if we all work together to safeguard our environment, we can help this town have a brighter future. Well, thank you, Oshin. Thank you for this conversation this morning. I believe I explored a new perspective. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. The message that we are trying to spread here is that moderation is needed in Okay. It is the most important thing. We need its energy, we need its sunlight for these plants to grow. So give it to the tree. Why? Because the tree needs sunlight. So the sun has chosen the tree. The living beings to sit down. The living beings to sit down, please. The imbalance which uh, we humans have created. Okay, 
and we can we call it global warming. What we have done is everywhere. Now, next when uh, we are trying to spare awareness about global warming is the global temperature of Earth. There's an example I want to give. Earlier civilizations uh, put out events such as tree planting, cleanliness programs, and the triple R, which is reduce. do today. Now you all know what that means, right? What you do today will represent your future. And our new groups, the Banyan tree itself, which um, symbolizes growth and strength. And the only number represents the 22nd of April, which makes up for the Earth Day. Taking care of the Mother Earth every day. With grateful feelings, I now request you quietly to stand. I thank uh, especially the members of all the clubs, Franz Helix and uh, the Sasonian Literary Club and the Evergreen Club and, uh, and Interact Club. All the clubs have come together and the staff members who have come up uh, with their initiative and support. Uh, I thank all of them. And now may I request everybody to stand